Hello there. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm back working on the the dumpster here. Um, I think today what I want to do is work on the um, the. I want to say it's a it's a a lid on the top of the dumpster here, um, and then probably work on some other things within the alley. Maybe the uh, trash cans or work on that building that I never actually completed. Um, so let's take a look at how we might create this top here to the dumpster. Um, I'm just uh, looking at the chat, seeing how you guys are doing. People from from Austria, hi. Hi, hi in Austria, how are you? Um, Yes, I've posted all the old videos um, of the streams um, on my channel, so you should be able to go back and check those out if you want. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's take a look at uh, this. I think what I want to do is create a plane, and I want to make it about as big as this. So, all right, so let's do this. I'm going to um, in edge mode, grab this edge on the interior and pop that cursor into here. And then I want to create a polygon plane right in there. Now what I'm going to do is, it, this is, uh, you know, we all have our different ways of doing things, but this is my strange logic, I should say, um, as to how to do things sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this and I am going to scale it out so it's the same size as this piece here, like this. So I'm just getting the size of it down. And wait for it now. Bear, bear with me here. <laughs> Let me get this down here. And then what I'm going to do is tab into edit mode and cut it like that then I'm gonna take this and get that out of there so now I know exactly how big one half of that is right so that's that's gonna help me there now I'm gonna take that rotation out of it uh, here in the Y take that back to zero because I want to be able to model in the global in the global um, global axes. Now I think I can work on this. It's kind of hard to see in here. Um, let me see if I have a better image. Where is that other image I had? Uh, let me go to image, open image. Let me take a look at this blue one here. Ooh, it's a lot smaller. But what do I think? I kind of this one is more, I don't know. It's not bad though, I kind of, kind of like it. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. Okay, so now how to get these pieces on. Um, I think what I'll do is, first of all, grab these edges and I'm just gonna extrude down. Um, well, thinking. And it's got a bit of a curve there too. Hmm. No, I, oh, okay. So I think what I'll do is let's see how many edges this has. I think I'm going to need three edges each for this little piece here. I could extrude those up or I could insert the edges and then pull them up. Let me try and extrude, let me do that. So I'm going to get, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's those. And then we've got probably two edges on this side here, like that. And then I'll scale in the X, right? And get that to here. Um, it looks like I've got a bit of an edge on the side. Let's do that. I'll go ahead and put this 
over here and this over here. That makes them a little bit smaller, doesn't it, uh, on the ends. So let me just pull those in a hair. All right, so now if I take these guys, and what I want to do is if I hit E and pull them up, then they're all going to extrude as one piece, and I don't want that. So what I want to do is go over to this tools, and uh, if I can remember, I believe it's individual faces. Let's try that. Now, if I pull those up or down, they should act as their own thing. So now, let me see. If I, let me just grab one of these and make sure. Yeah, so it's its own thing. Now, if I go to individual origins here, I should be able to scale individually like this. So bring those in a bit, and then I want to bring them in the Y individually like that. Something like that. Okay, that's not bad. Let me go to um, edge mode and get these edges around the side here. That's what I was thinking about doing up front, but it was going to grab the whole thing and I didn't want to do that. So now I'll extrude down just a bit. Kind of like I'm just getting this rim right there. And then I don't know that I need to see fully on the bottom of these. Like if it's, I may have one or two that's open just a bit like that. So I don't think I need to um, make all of these things on the bottom as well, like with the solidify modifier. I don't think I need to do that. So I'm just going to extrude and scale these in and extrude and pull them up just a little bit and in just a hair and then up just a hair. And now I want to connect all of these. So let me press Shift H. Oh, you know what? I did it again. I'm sorry. There we go. Um, so now what I want to do is fill this. And if I just hit the, if I just hit F, then it'll fill it like that, and it'll be an in gon. It'll be kind of ugly. Um, I could do what is it? Control F for beauty. Is that right? No, Alt F, right? Alt F, yeah, I could do that. That's kind of ugly too. Um, there is, where's that grid fill? Mesh, faces, is it in here? Here it is, grid fill. You can also hit the uh, a space bar and then just type grid fill in here and do that. And that's pretty. That's what I want. Okay. So that is basically the top. I think that's all we need for this, really. Um, let me angle it into place again, like this. Let me bring it down and rotate it, get it in place like that. And I don't think I'm going to worry about the bar or anything at the back. That. Um, I don't think I need that. And then I'll just copy this. Let me hit the Z key here and move that up. Duplicate Y. And there we go. Let's see how that works. Yeah. All right. I will hit the A key and come over here again. Alt wire, draw all edges, and there we go. We can see it now. Yeah. So what do you think? Is that going to work? I think so. All right. So now I want to get it in place. Let me bring back, uh, well, if I bring it back, the car is going to be in the middle here, isn't it? Well, I'll do it anyway. Bring everything back. And there it is. It's sitting right there in the middle. Let me move the car. Get back there. All right. So what I need to do is kind of figure out, is that the right size? It looks pretty good, actually. Let me uh, run around. Shift F, tab. Well, H. 
hate when that happens. Let me try again. Shift F tab. There we go. And let me run around. And that kind of looks like the size of a dumpster. Let me run around back here and turn around. You think that's going to work? Yeah, okay. Let's give it a try. So now, I can group this all into one object. I could do that. Uh, but I kind of want to keep them apart for now until I UV it. Um, so what I can do is create a group. And a group, of course, in Blender is a weird thing. Uh, it's not exactly like groups in any other, um, well, anywhere. <laughs> it's, I don't fully understand it, but uh, that's the way it is. I'm going to uh, uh, create a group. It's, it's over here under group, uh, control G. Control G, and there's my group. And I can give it a name, dumpster. There we go. And now, if I go over to the outliner, I can't see it. I love that. You, you have to go to groups to be able to see your groups, which, I don't know, it seems odd to me. But, there we have it. I'm going to uh, place this. I think I had it back here, so I'm going to place that back there and see how it... I'm going to hit G... Shift Z and move it back there. Kind of like this. And I'll zoom into it. Yeah. Something like that. All right. I'll select that group again and move it back to right about there. Okay. Um, I'll duplicate it around. Um, so if I get rid of this. Can I duplicate that group? I'm not sure. Well, let's see. Duplicate Y. Sure enough. There we go. So, yeah. Um, R, Z. I don't want it to be completely... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's not going to work. I'll have to deal with that uh, once it's all one object. Because I like to turn things just a bit so, th so they aren't all, you know, on axis, but I'll deal with that um, a little later. So um, I'll have to duplicate this again when I UV it, but uh, I just wanted to see how it looked. Yeah, I think that's okay. Sh let me run around again. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, what else should we do? I don't know. Uh, I guess I could go back to my building here that, that I got tired of because the <laughs> this wore me out, I guess. Um, so let's see. Uh, is that equivalent to parenting? You mean the group? Um, it's not really parenting. Grouping in Blender, as I said, is really weird. It, it's not... I mean, it is, you're, you're, you're kind of creating an empty and then parenting it to it, but you can also just create an empty. Um, another way to uh, group things is to actually create an empty and um, parent it to that. So you could create an empty, which is just an empty object right down here, and then parent things to it. So that's, and then uh, that will show up in the out, out, in the outliner here. Um, okay, so let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's see. Random trash on the ground. You are correct. I'm going to need random trash. What a great band, band name. If I ever have... Uh, a band, I'm going to call it Random Trash. Um, well, let's work on the building first. I feel like that is uh, going to be, that needs to be, I don't know, the very end. Maybe not. 
I don't know. What would be r random trash? Like a cup from McDonald's or something? Yeah, you'd probably have like cups and bags and things. Yeah, we could do that. Well, let me work on the building here. Let me let me let me do this. So, let me see where the fire escape ended up. It looks like it's on layer 4 except for the railing which is on layer 5. Okay. Well, let's just move everything over to layer 5 so they're all together there. All right. And um I need to bring back that alley, don't I? Let me see. Um, open image. Where is my alleyway? Um, I was using this one, wasn't I? And I was using this one. So let's bring these back. Oh, and here's some random trash on the ground. Yeah, like squished boxes and cans and things. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to need some of that, aren't I? Good call. All right. Um, let me bring back something, an, the another image as well. UV image editor. Oh, well, that's, that's it. I need these too. I need some sort of thing like that too. Okay. All right, I'm just kind of taking, uh, kind of figuring out what I need to do here. Let me open this up. Okay, so I kind of thought that this was the building I was working on here. And, oh, I could do the gutters. That might be fun. <laughs> Something to do that isn't the building, yay! uh all right let's let's work on the gutter it looks like it's got just a little bit of a bevel there it's just a cube but with a little bit of a bevel so let's do that yeah why not um would it go up and around the top of the building dang it i can't see up to the top looks like there's another one over here that's round we could do a round one and a square one. Where would that go? It looks like it goes right along the edge here, like this, this piece, like that, and the, it would go right along this edge. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to select this edge and take that cursor to the center of that edge. And then I can add a cube. And let's try and make this kind of like that here. It looks like it's a little bit rectangular, maybe. Not quite cube, but rectangle. So maybe bring it in in the X a bit. Something like that. And how big should this be? Maybe like that. Let's see, is that big enough? Hmm. I feel like it should be a little bit wider. Like that. Yeah. Let's try that. So it's got these brackets on it and it looks like it bends or is that just the bend of the angle of the camera there? Yeah, that may be kind of that wide angle bend in the image. But let's try and scale it up. And then down here we're going to want a bit of a bend out, aren't we? So let me grab this. And let's see which way I'm... Hello. Where am I here? Okay. 
There we go. So right on down to here and then angle it out. So I'm just going to use extrude to do this. Um, I can just go like this. Not the most elegant way of doing it, but it'll get the job done. Yeah, so there we go. So as I said, not the most elegant, but by the time I bring up another tool, I could have been <laughs> done with it here. So just going to do that. There we go. All right. Um, it's a little bit too wide, something like that. Now, I feel like this has got to go in. We've got to have some sort of little edge in there so we can't see the back of the polygons. So I'll just take this and move it back and uh, Let's just scale that in and put it right in here. So you can't see in, you know, so you can't see through the polygons like that. There we go. That'll work. All right, now what happens up here? I'm not sure. Um, it probably doesn't matter per se because we're going to be looking down, but I'd kind of like uh, something to be happening here. What if I took this and put another little ridge on this, uh, like out front here? If I took this and brought this out like this, and then just kind of terminated the gutter underneath that, do you think that'd work? Would anyone care? Let's try it. As if it's coming from the drain up top on the roof here. Let's see. Up here, what we should do is, once again, hey, I'll use that I key for inset. Thank you again for that. And let me scale that in just a bit. Like that. There we go. And I'll bring that down just a hair like that. Okay. So we've got that kind of an uh kind of an overhang that the gutter's gonna go up into. Let's try that. Now we need to deal with these little bracket things. Do I need the little the little cylinder thing or little circle bolt things there. I mean, that should probably be be a texture, but then to I can do that quicker <laughs> as a as an object that I can, than I can as a texture. Hmm. Don't know. Let's um let's just create a polygon plane for this. Spin it around the Y. How about uh, R, Y, negative 9, 0, so it pops that way. And then I'll just, once again, kind of get it in place and then use the solidify modifier on this. So I want to get it, uh, so it's pretty small. And get it framed up there. All right, so something Let's see. Scale that in. You know what I could have done would have been easier. Is just put a cube here. Yeah. That's okay. Now we'll 
We'll do it this way now that we're here. I keep doing that. We'll do it this way. So I'm going to bring these in just a bit. Go back to my median point here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to extrude these back and then extrude them out in the Y like that. There we go. Now I can apply the scale. And someone was saying I could hit Control F and then choose Solidify. Let me try that. Control F. No. Dang it. I don't know. There was something that somebody said. I, I love all the comments because I'm, I'm learning new things. It's awesome. Uh, but someone said about, I didn't have to go to the Solidify modifier over here. I could just hit Control F or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and do it this way for now. Like that. And then, now there's that piece there. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this. And then, um, I guess I'll go ahead and apply it. I'll apply it. And then I don't need this in here, do I? So I like to try and get rid of these kinds of things that I don't need on the inside because I hate to UV them if I'm not going to see them. Don't UV them if you're not going to see them. That needs to be a t-shirt, right? <laughs> Don't UV them if you're not going to see them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just pulling these out just a bit like that. Okay. There we go. And no one in the world would... Like two people would actually know what that t-shirt meant. <laughs> okay, um, let me grab that brace and we're going to need a couple more of those going up the building. So duplicate, not Y, let's try Z. And duplicate Z. I'll put four like that. So it holds on to the building there. Okay, good. Um, I think that's going to work. Uh, so, uh, pie menus. What do you think of the pie menus? Um, I haven't used them a whole lot, honestly. I've, uh, you know, I, I, I used them in Maya, I guess it was. Yeah, a long time ago. Um, and it, you know, it's a a similar kind of thing. I haven't tried them. I've just gotten so used to what I'm doing and I don't want to change anything. You know, I want to keep being able to do what I do. So I haven't tried them. Have you guys tried the pie? You love the pie. Uh, okay. Um, uh, wires between buildings and fuse boxes. Yes. Oh, and the wires up here like this. This would be cool up here. Let me look at this picture. Yeah, that's a good idea. So all of this up here and then the wires going from the telephone poles down to the buildings. That's a very good idea. Yeah, I like that. All right. Um, so, yes, I could have Googled alley rain gutter top. <laughs> you are correct. And I probably should do that. But for now, let's go with this. Um, I think I'm just going to take this and move it over to the other side as well to have. And Google is an amazing thing. How did we get along in the world of, of like creating art without Google Images? I don't know how we did that. Why? I'm going to move these over here. There we go. Okay. All right, and yes, yeah, someone commented uh, on the other video that I haven't actually connected the uh, fire escape to 
to the building and that is true i'll probably need to do that probably just underneath here some you know brackets it's probably a good point for now though let's take a look at the windows um i still i love this barred up window so you can't get out i mean obviously it's so that people can't climb up and get in but it just kind of cracks me up that you can't get out either um so let's start putting in some of these windows what i'm going to do let's see control three and five and let's take a look here so this is the building i'm going to tab into edit mode and insert two edge loops here and those are my three stories let's say so would there be do i want to move them up a bit like this i could do that and then put windows along here and windows along there and then down here we don't have a whole a whole lot we've got a door here we could put a door there why don't we do that all right so for windows um let me try this mm. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. One, two, maybe something like this. Well, trying to figure out how I want to position this without moving the fire escape too much. Yeah, I could go like this. Okay. And then here is, here are windows here. And here are windows here, like that. So if we looked at it like this, these would be our windows no see i've got them i don't like that all right thank god for undo let's try this now yeah how about this scale these up here and let's do this like that let's try that so these three are the windows and these three are the windows yeah that seems a little that'll work I'll do that um, and these will be either barred over maybe here or that this here plated over there so let's try this and then a door down here um, let's try a door right down here where's my six foot guy my uh, six foot scale guy here he is let's move him to a layer like way over here so I know where he is okay so let's bring this back so he's six feet this door so that'll be a door there we go yeah something like that all right so this will be our door right there and then these are our windows up here and then we'll put the little blocks on underneath those here 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 all of these let's take those in just a smidge 
Uh, and once again, I'm going to split them out and move them forward. So P, split, and then I'm going to select them. Move the origin to the center of those and move those out just a bit. There we go. They're just going to be easier to UV if they're um, apart from the rest there. Um, I could grab those blocks from the other buildings. But for now, I want to grab this here. Um, let me look at this door. Is it... No, here. It's just an indentation. There's no... There's no... Is that even a door? Maybe that's a window. It's hard to tell. Well, let's see if I can find another door in here to work with. Not really. <laughs> All right. I'll have to wing it. Um, I'll take it in. Delete this face down here. And then I think I'll just bring it out. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Even with bricks going to the edge there. That's fine. All right. Um, I need to grab that block underneath the window, and I need to grab some bars. So let's go back to our whole thing, and let me grab these bars here and see if they're going to work at all over there. I'm going to duplicate it, move it in the Y. I'm going to join it. Whoa, what? Oh, I've got an array that I need to um, apply over here. Let me, actually, I don't want to yet. What I want to do is see if it fits, and then I may need to adjust the array. So for now, let's get rid of these. I don't need these right now. I'll come back for those. But this, let's spin that around in the Z, RZ180. And let's see how this works. I'm going to take this to, what was it, layer 5? M5. There we go. Now, let's see if we can put these on here. Uh, control 3. There we go. All right. So up here, like this, that's a big window. That's okay. We can do that. Let's see. Scale in the Z. Get those in place. And then... Let's take a look at the array. And I've got 8, 9, 10. Let's use 10. Nice. Okay. Let me go to the top view and bring those in like so yeah so we can get those in there like that how's that all right let's bring that brace back now i think that'll work uh oh let's do one up here. So let's put bars up here too. Like this. Right here. So people can't get in there. We don't want people being able to get out either in case there's a fire. There we go. Alright. So we've got our bars on our windows there. Um, should we have them here? It looks like they could climb up and get in there. We don't want that, do we? So, let's put them there too. Right there. Alright, so now let's go get that 
brace and use that here too. Uh, I'm going to bring everything back and grab one of those and bring it over here. Duplicate. Bring it over. Let's put it in uh, layer 5, M5. Go back to layer 5 and let's take a look at this. So I just need to spin it around, right? And you know what? While I'm here, while I'm here, look at all these excess faces that I don't want to UV. What was the saying? I forgot it already. If, oh man, I forgot my catchy phrase al already. If it isn't, oh crap, <laughs> I don't remember it. It was clever though, it really was. All right, um, let's put this in here. Here we go. I'm going to spin around to the front. Let's put this in place. Do I have, is it long enough? No, it's not long enough. Okay, that's okay. We can work with that. I can work with that. So what let's do is um, get it in place here and then in edit mode, go to vertex mode, B for border select, grab that and just move it out. There we go. Move it out. Yeah, okay. Now, is it where I need it to be? Getting close. There we go. Look at that. Mm. Thing of beauty. Control 3, 5, Z. Let's do this. Let's also do this over here. Okay. And these guys up here. Duplicate. Uh... G, Shift, X, slide it up. Looks like it could be that wide as well there. That's fine. Like that. And there we go. All right. Yeah, okay. It's not bad. Um, so, I'm just seeing what's going on over here oh a good point um what about a a, a sewage hatch like uh i want one of those round sewer hatches that's a good idea it could go right down here yeah i like that that's a good idea oh here's a grid a little so something kind of like that right yeah that's a good idea um If you don't see it, don't UV it. Was that it? Because I see, I, I, I see here, if you don't see it, don't make it. And don't make it, yes. <laughs> if you don't see it, don't UV it. Yes, I got to get a t-shirt made of that. <laughs> um, all right, I think I'm going to have to go here. I, wish I, I feel like there's one more thing I want to do, I should do before we go here today. Uh, what about what about one of those? Um, why don't we make something there down here in the alley like this? If it's uh, so something maybe right down here that um, round sewer grid. Let me see. What is that? What is that called? Um, uh, oh, it's a manhole. Manhole cover, right? Hello? Oh, well, here we go. Yes. Okay, so it looks like it's um, embedded down in. <clears throat> they all look pretty flat to the ground, so I'd need to embed it down into the ground, which wouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, let's take a look at 
try and do that before we go here. I'm going to try and do it right here. Uh, let me move this to... Uh, no, this will be fine. I don't need to move it. But what I do need to do is get um, a couple of edge loops here. So I kind of need to have them along here. Let me uh, select this edge. And if I... What happens if I bevel this? Let me try this. Control B. Okay, yep, yep. I just want something like that. And now I want, where's my bevel? Here it is. So I want my number of segments to be two there. So I got that. So my what I'm trying to do is get this um, in here so I have enough to insert that circular area here. So now that I've got this, let me think about this. Yeah, so now that I've got this, I'm going to select these four faces, delete them. I'm going to, oops, I don't want to do that. I hit a button that I didn't want to hit. I want to uh, create a cylinder and I want it to be eight sides because I have eight sides here. Um, so I want it to be eight sides here. Um, how big do we want it to be? That's going to be an issue. Um, I really should have um, used a triangle fan for this, but I can still do that. Let me go back. Really? Here we go. All right, so I just need to extrude this in. And there we go. So now I have a triangle fan. Um, what I'm going to do now is try and get it to be the size that I want it to be. How big do I want this to be? I mean, how big is a grid, is one of those manholes compared to that? The car there. About like that, maybe? Let's try it. I don't need these either. I'm not sure that this is going to work, but I'm having fun, so <laughs> why not? Um, let me move this down so it's right, sitting right there. Now, you're wondering, what in the world is he doing? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and this, and I'm going to combine them with Control J. Now I can take this edge and this edge, and let's see if I can bridge them. Control E, bridge edge loops, and there we go. Now I've got a round hole in a square peg, basically. So now I should be able to take all these and then extrude them down a bit like this for my manhole cover. Right, so uh, let me split that out. I say split that out, there we go. And I'll bring this up a bit, just a little bit. And then extrude that back down maybe. Let's try that. That did not work. Look, <laughs> I have the uh, proportional tool on somehow. I hit something I was a little bit too yeah, so I do have that. Let me try and... There we go. I was being a little bit too tricky. All right. So now what I can do is take these faces. And I'm not sure that this is going to work, but it's a fun to try. And I just want to bring that in like this like that. So let me just give it a little bit of an edge. Oops. Like 
like this and then down just a hair there we go so it's not it may not work I may have to just do it through uh, textures but I mean I would use a texture on this I would of course get something like this and apply it to that but it's just fun to try while we can here all right let me uh, turn on the wire so there it is it's just this it's just the ab ability to put uh, a, a round peg in a square hole as they say do they say that I don't know anyway I better get on my way but thank you for joining me thank you for hanging out uh, please keep the comments coming on the videos once the streams become a video because I think it's great for people to, to be able to see other ways of doing what I'm doing. So other uh, tools, uh, sh uh, uh, shortcut keys, things like that. It's great to have those on the, on the videos. So thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. And take care.